Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today's June 3rd, 2017. And apparently there were three terrorist attacks in England. London, England is under terrorist attack. Go now to the headlines and find out what the heck is happening. Drudge Report, London terror rampage, series of attacks, pedestrians mowed down on bridge. This is for Allah. Report at least seven dead, 20 injured gang of five terrorists. Heavy gunfire, throats cut. Panic on London Bridge, attack, terror incident, leaves up to seven feared dead after van plows into pedestrians before three men with hunting knives jump out and start stabbing people. Report out of CBS Philly. Right here they say a witness of the London Bridge incident said the attackers were yelling, this is for Allah. And of course we know this is the Muslims holy month of Ramadan where they said they would attack and they are attacking. London terror attack, London Bridge, Borough Market, and Vox Hall latest at least two dead and now been updated to seven possibly more 20 plus injured the story's developing witnesses saw people who appeared to have their throats cut on London Bridge jihadist terrorists shouting this is for Allah kill seven in knife frenzy at five locations in the capital, hunt for men with 12-inch blades who began the rampage by mowing down travelers on London Bridge. There have been unconfirmed reports of at least seven victims being stabbed at Landmark in central London. Three men of Mediterranean origin reportedly left a van and began stabbing people on Borough Street. On Borough High Street, one witness said she saw three people with what appeared to be their throats cut on London Bridge. Also unconfirmed reports of gunfire on Southwark Street amid the utter chaos of attack. On Saturday night, police are responding to the incident at Borough Market. Scotland Yard has confirmed. Theresa May has said that the terrible incident in London is being treated as a potential act of terrorism. Armed police and bomb squad are attending the scene and boats are currently searching the Thames River. Amazing terrorists kill up to seven. Sorry about that video. Terrorists kill up to seven and dozens more injured at five locations. Jihadi terrorists again. All these stories are updating as information comes in. Panic at London Bridge attack. Let's go back here to a summary if we can find it. Where's that from the independent? Here's a summary. Multiple casualties following major incident in London. Police say they're responding to three incidents in London. In London Bridge, Borough Market, and Vox Hall. I saw a man with a large braid blade. A witness described and so so is this a false flag attack by England's own government to usher in a police state and other authoritarian measures it definitely is a false flag by their government allowing open borders and remember the terrorist attack about two weeks ago at the Ariana Grande concert dead after blast at or 22 dead after blast at ariana grande concert in manchester remember that attack well that guy flew to libya a known terrorist training safe haven terror center and flew back and did the attack amazing and so what does ariana grande do she's gonna have a concert tomorrow it's yet to been canceled her, all these pop star jokes, uh, Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Pharrell Williams, Coldplay, Usher, and others are going to have 
a benefit concert. Instead of denouncing radical Islamic extremism, jihadist terrorism, they're going to have a benefit concert for those who died. Don't forget, this is the same Ariana Grande that said she hates Americans and hates her fans. Remember this? Sadiq Khan, London mayor, says being prepared for terror attacks part and parcel of living in a major city. Labor politician says capitals have got to be prepared for attacks like New York bombing. And that was back in September of 2016 he said this. Amazing. And remember this. If I can get it to load. Intelligence intelligence agencies admit 23,000 jihadists live in Britain. 30 pose imminent threat. And that was reported by the Times of London. Sorry, I couldn't get that page to load. I mean, this is truly amazing that the West has to put up with this. Let's go now to Twitter, hashtag London Bridge. See what's happening on social media. And of course, this is Sadiq Khan, London Mayor. Refugees, welcome. We love refugees. I mean, we love refugees 100 years. We love Muslims. Amazing what these people are doing. If I can get out of this video. Um, Twitter's freezing up here a little bit. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, London police incident. Armed police respond. Bam, mowing down pedestrians. Stabbings attacks with knives. And this is the response from Metro Police. Run, hide, tell. You must run to a place of safety. This is a better option than to surrender or negotiate. If there's nowhere to go, then hide. Turn your phone to silent and turn off vibrator. Barricade yourself if you can. Tell the police by calling 999 when is safe to do so. London's been, or England's been disarmed, like much of Europe. So they don't have a second amendment. The civilians there don't have firearms to defend themselves. And by the time that the police respond, you're already dead due to a terrorist attack. Amazing. Uh, Video's gone bad here. I think my flash player crashed. So we're not going to get video out of this report. But uh, here's a photo of police taking down this man. Again, I apologize for the bad video on this report. But uh, here's a photo of it. And uh, yeah, you get the picture. You get the picture. These terrorist attacks are due to open borders. And the liberal communist socialist progressives in America want to block Donald Trump's travel ban. Banning people coming into this country from known terrorist countries where they train them. It's completely utterly ridiculous. We need a travel ban. We need extreme vetting. We need to close the borders. We need to defend national sovereignty and stop giving in to the nonsense. What are they going to blame for this? Are they going? They're probably already blaming Trump. I haven't seen the liberal, progressive, Democrat response, but you know, it's uh, let's blame Trump. Let's blame Islamophobia. Let's blame Trump supporters. Let's blame xenophobia. Let's blame white people. Let's blame Christians. Let's blame guns. Let's blame climate change. And hey, while we're at it, let's blame Russia. But no, it's the government's fault for allowing, what is it, 23,000 jihadists, 3,000 under investigation in the UK now. It's probably more than that. That's just what they're reporting on. This is completely and utterly ridiculous. There's terrorist attacks, something like every nine days in Europe or attempted terrorist attacks. This is ridiculous. We don't need to run, hide, and tell. We need to speak out now and take action and not surrender to the Islamic Caliphate. I mean, Turkey's openly said they'll use refugees as a weapon to take over Europe, our supposed NATO ally. 
I mean, this is pure insanity. So speak out and take action. Do your own research about why we need a travel ban, extreme vetting, and we need all the good Muslims, all the moderate Muslims, to speak out against these jihadist terrorist attacks, killing innocent people. Pray for the victims and their families. Speak out and take action. Subscribe to this channel.